Hello Violin Channel, this is Oli Bond talking to you from the Sydney Conservatory of Music in Australia. In the previous lessons we have talked about the various forms of vibrato, wrist, arm and finger vibrato. The question now is when shall we use what? That is where we have to use our musical taste. The taste changes every 35 to 40 years and types of vibrato used in the past might not be the ones we will use today. I'd like to show you a few examples. Let's take the side theme of Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto. If we read the score, we see that uh, the soloist plays together with the winds. And when I play together with woodwinds, I would use a narrow, perhaps wrist vibrato. Then the strings come and the string form a very warm sound. Then I will warm up my sound, perhaps use a little bit more of the arm. This I can do, but it is very boring if I only use here is wrist, here is arm. I try to combine so I can make colors. So if you look and listen, I think you can see what I mean. Here you also saw that I, there was a few notes I didn't use vibrato at all. A place where I would definitely use arm vibrato is in the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto. If I had used only wrist vibrato, it would sound like this. Not very exciting, so I have to use more drama in the vibrato, and that comes with the arm vibrato. I can also show a little bit where I definitely would use wrist vibrato. That is in the beginning of the Mozart violin concert, the second movement. But I think I will use a little bit arm also. I will use arm vibrato on a few notes and in the high positions. Arm. Arm. Wrist. Uh, 
as you can see, there are so many possibilities. I think it's very important that we know how to execute the different vibrati. Then it's up to us to make colors and then we decide what to use when.